If you're into making scenes containing millions of vertices and many objects that are present at once in your scene, you know that the viewport performance will take a huge hit. Especially if you're working with a large scene or an interior scene containing a lot of objects or simply want animating your camera to traverse a certain path. So you have probably wondered if Blender comes with a feature automatically hides all the objects that are outside of the camera's view. Unfortunately, there isn't, but if you want to do such a thing, you have to manually keyframe and toggle the visibility of each object, which is not something I would recommend to do since that can be very time consuming when working with a lot of models. And this is where the Envue add-on comes in. Using this add-on enables you to easily optimize your messy scenes by hiding the objects which are not visible by the camera. It even takes it a step further by offering a masking tool that can ignore and delete certain faces and parts of your meshes that do not appear in the scene. So using this add-on can help you significantly increase the performance of your viewport by reducing the amount of visible geometry in your scene, leaving only the parts of the objects that are visible by the camera. And it does all this without affecting the final render because it is only masking areas of your scene that the camera doesn't get to see. To use the add-on, first install it. After that, you need to navigate to the add-ons tab in the end panel where all the magic happens. And to use the add-on, you just need to select the camera. Then all you have to do is select all the objects in your scene and click on hide. And voila, you will notice that all the objects which are outside of the camera view will be hidden. And a little window will appear on the bottom left. Inside the window, you will get a couple of settings. And to adjust these settings, you will have three main methods. First is Frustum, which simply calls the objects outside of the camera view. The second is the Distance method, which does what its name suggests. And lastly, the ray casting method that works by casting rays from the camera into the scene only hitting the objects directly visible by the camera and it gives you the option to customize the number of bounces each tray can make. After selecting the method that you prefer, you can select whether the objects are completely disabled in the render as well as in the viewport, and it is really up to you. The interesting thing about this add-on is the ability to bake the object's visibility to keyframes, which works incredibly well if you are working with an animated camera or if you have animated objects in the scene. Another nice feature that Envue offers is the ability to mask certain parts of your mesh which can be specifically useful if you are using high quality models. And it comes with three different methods, Frustum and Raycast, just like I mentioned earlier, in addition to the backface mode which calls the geometry facing away from the camera. This add-on also comes with some tools to help you clean up your scene, allowing you to show all the objects as well as an option to clean all the visibility keyframes if you want to remove the effect at one point each time. If you want to remove all the effects at any point in time. But wait, there is more. The developer keeps on updating the add-on, and the latest updates include some more handy features. Now, you can even tell the add-on to include objects that are outside of the camera view but appear in the reflections of the other objects. For example, when working with metallic or transparent glass objects, you can do that by increasing the light bounces of the glossy and transmission when using the raycast method. Also, you can now optimize your geometry node setup by generating a match of your camera's view boundaries, enabling you to easily use it as a Boolean object to remove undesired meshes. And that's about it. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.